hi family welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i am oyoko but you can call me me and today is sacred conversations number four and i am so thrilled i'm so excited because i have four amazing writers and i cannot wait to share the poems that i've chosen with you i i i oh my god yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna share it now actually i'm gonna show you which poetry collections i have chosen for this episode for today's episode so we have yersa daily ward with her debut oh okay we have yersa daily ward with her debut poetry collection bone and yersa is a writer a poet a actor and she's a model and her work is just very very moving it was really touching and i am really uh i cannot wait i cannot wait to share her work with you so that's the first one then we have post-colonial banter by suhaima manzo khan and she is an educator, she's a spoken words artist, she's a writer, and she interrogates narratives around race, ism, Islamophobia, state violence, gender, feminism, and she also interrogates the decoloniality of Britain. And uh, I must say, ah, I, you know what, I'm not even going to say too much. I'm really excited to be reading some of her poems for you. So, yeah. Then we have If They Come For Us by Fatima Ashkar, who is a performer, a writer, a screenwriter, a poet, and educator. And she is also the screenwriter of the web series Brown Girls. I'll make sure to link the video somewhere in this video. <laughs> So you can go and watch it. I highly recommend watching that web series. It was amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. And last but not least, Safe Metamorphosis by Otis Mensa, who is a artist, a performing artist, a writer, a spoken word artist, and a self-proclaimed mom's house philosopher who has an alternative take on hip hop music and on abstract poetry the words that he chooses to convey his his emotions his perspective i thoroughly enjoyed it and um yeah also very touching and i am so excited i am i'm, I'm gonna try and not cry like i'm already even thinking about his work makes me teary-eyed but i want to say to all the writers, thank you so much for letting me share your work. And I am clearly fangirling. Like, I'm clearly, like, let's be honest. I'm like, you know, a proper fangirl here. So I'm, 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 I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to be sharing this with you. <laughs> I want to try my very best, my utmost best to execute this in a way that would do it justice. I will bring all of the power. I will bring all of the vim. I will bring all of the energy. I will try and translate all of that, all the emotions, the state I was in, the mood, everything. I will try and translate all of that, package it in a way that would do it justice and present it to you through the screen. I will hope you will feel the energy. I really hope. I know I am dramatic. I know, I know, but let me have this moment. Let me have this moment. <laughs> Okay, so we will be starting with Bone. And let me try and get, get ready for this. Okay. Some of us love badly. Sometimes the love is the type of love that implodes. Falls in on itself. Eats its insides. Turns wine to poison. Behaves poorly in restaurants. Drinks. Kisses other people. Comes back to your bed at 4 a.m. 
smelling like everything outside. Asks about your ex. Is jealous of your ex. Thinks everyone in rival. Some of us love others badly. Love ourselves well. Some of us love horrid, love beastly, love sick, love anti-life. Sometimes love can't go home at night, can't sleep with itself, cannot contain itself, catches fire, destroys the belly, strips buildings, goes missing. Punches, smashes, eludes, tells lies, the best lies, fucks around, writes poems, impresses people, chases lovers into corners, leaves them longing, seasick, says yes, means anything but, tricks the body, heals the body, dances wild and walks away, smiling. Women who were brought up devout and fearful get stirred like anyone else. Want men? Want other women? Stink under the arms at the end of the day. Get that all too familiar mix of fear and discontent in the night. Want to do the things that they must not do. Does dirty bloody, attractive things. I have searched hard for my very dead parents and women with my father's stature and men with my mother's features, almost unwittingly, hardly successfully. I like the sounds our bodies make when they fall in life. I love the word love, I do, but only far from it. So this was Bone, and I really enjoyed it. I must say that I had some difficulty reading some of the work. I was quite emotional. She speaks to the imagination. She manages to, you know, fill these sentences with, like, very, you know, like, dark emotional yeah <laughs> um very dark emotional um moments and yeah but i still really recommend it i really enjoyed it and i'm glad that i got her book because i found her on instagram and i'm really glad i did next one is safe metamorphosis by otis mensa and I will start with alternative space. Traveling through alternative space. The earnest is lurking in shade in murky waters where the waves crash and dirty mud bray. Long jump black holes big enough to take up eternity's place. Absurdities gray. Only certainty in black and white. I wear this cage like a second name. A clerk by day, writer by night, trying to instigate insight. But there's nerves in my state. How to be fluid like water, sustain and further my flame. I saw the morning give birth to the day. From the moment our bodies were cursed, dancing on legs that are withered away, now we crawl in the dirt. Just a pawn in the race, I've got nothing to say. The change in time and space when shackles are made tambourines, when the song emancipates the tongue that knows its cage and plays against its prison. Spluttering beauty, muttering freedom, sometimes whispers are louder. The meek that rips roofs from houses, whilst your favorite rapper shouts at walls, rubbing penis in hand. My feet in sand, trying to understand roots. Staring at our heroes like, oh, you oppressor, you. Oh, you oppressor, you. 
unlearning and learning not to become one too. The universe is introvert. The world is backwards. Murder cattle. Disperse the classes. Weeping Saturn falls from skies. Life or death, we choose the latter. Take our data. Grow our status. Failing fate. You know what happened. Hate for hate. Cycles. Patterns. Pay my way. Find me tattered. Play the game. Count your castles. Laden now. Path is narrow. Oozing sore. Lost the battle. A new remorse. I'm off the saddle. There's no backing down when the chauffeur sounds. Sadly, none but chauvinists around. I don't get paid like so far sounds. Slaying the rap jargon, I was given a bad bargain, speaking to the sun in the back garden and wrote what she told me. But my barter could only buy me fire emojis. And not more time like I'd hoped for. There's no more time like I'd hoped for. There's no more time like I'd hoped. There's no more hope. Okay, this is going to be the last one. Unparalleled friend, a fire. <sighs> you know what? When I was reading this poem, my eyes started to, you know, tear up. I started to get teary-eyed because it was so beautiful. And yeah, let me just read it for you. I hope I can do it justice. But obviously, go check out his music. Um, and I, there are a few live performances on YouTube, so you can go and check out how he performs. But I'm, tr I'm going to try and do it justice. <laughs> I'm going to try and do it justice. Well, we'll see. Uh, okay, ready. It's been 24 hours since I've eaten and 72 hours since I felt the presence of the most important entity of love in my life, the hunger pains for the latter are far worse. I've tossed and turned every sleep or lack thereof. I can shift boulders of thought. I'm frightened by life and time apart from you. You've been my staple diet. You fed me, nourished me draped me down in garments of conflict. You've stripped me down to my core, even when it was claustrophobic. I suffocated and returned for more. You've questioned all my ideals, the ordeals of tested preconception. You've pulled at all my strings. I've grown and passionately, exhaustingly, I love with you. Boredom is barren. This version of myself hasn't felt the cold side of solitude without your solace. The city is no fun without you. And I find my way to salvage a piece of me, lighting up the every abyss ridden crack and crevasse. Every song I've heard a hundred times, it's every varied shade of gray and slabs of concrete, I meander. Every ache in my skeleton, every pun echoing my skull, every person I loathe and like, every rhyme for your name, every species I translate into your tongue, everything feels like a story worth telling to you. A friend who is a fire that has burned on for lifetimes before me, you've shifted shapes and stared down skies that alternate and recalibrate, washing away the old for new by the season. Fire can't be tamed, nor can I ask you to stay here. But the fire that is you, I've chosen. I hope you blaze with me for every grasp of air I can bear to breathe beside your heat. If I blew out my last breath before cradling your ardent warmth again, I'd regret my pride that stood between us and my fear of change that sends you away. 
I can't be the voice of your past. And your searing wounds, I try to sew shut, keep on bursting open. I can't cool you off. And I won't put you out. A fire of my own I must nurture. But I hoped we could burn and burn together forever and forever. Okay, next one is post-colonial banter. May you never feel the weight of what makes you human stripped from your bones. May you never know malnutrition and untimely death. May you always be warm. May you never see enough war that a bodiless head does not disturb you. May you never be alone and vulnerable. May your children not be preyed on. May they never live in a place that tries to vomit them out. May they never lose hope. May safety cloak your shoulders when you stand to pray. May you pray. May you never know the heavy feeling of soil packed between your limbs whilst you're still alive. May you never be a test for the oppressors. May you never be unloved. May people never feel satisfied that the treatment you get is the treatment you deserve. May they give you a name when you die. May they remember you as human. May your death be mourned in fullness and not just a symbol in a bigger debate. May you feel joy like the denseness of the night. May it drown you like the Mediterranean Sea. May it hit you in waves when you least expect it. Crash through your door like bulldozers. Occupy your home. Smatter through your windows. Spray you like bullets with your name on them. May you make a home in it. Make you choke on it. Breed it. Live it. Die it. And may no one ever think they have a right to remove you from it. <sighs> Paper says British born. Like that's all it is, just an accident. They rubbed out British raised desperately trying to deflect, erasing the context and connection, the fact this society made him, this land, this place, our words, our harm, but he's British born, not British, British, never British. They say the birthplace is somehow random, place his motives on a foreign land, must be the fact of his grandparents' blood, must be the fact of his skin. What a welcome from the heart of the empire. Raj of the Raj. A massive thumbs up from the hand that sliced us. British born, not British made. Foreign goods somewhere deep inside. I am British born, British passport, but neon hijab and sign posted skin, scanner goes off, obviously. A woman feels over me and looks straight through me. Random swabs are made. I am unmade. Passport says British. Her eyes say British born old. This is the best of the Muslims. The good Muslim is a compliant subject. Stating no subjectivity, making no demands for state accountability, merely proving peacefulness and accommodating hostility. The good Muslim is a silent Muslim who worships for mostly acceptability. The bad Muslims are the extremists, the distorters and the radicals. 
They're told, come back to the middle, be balanced, be moderate, without consideration that what's central is circumstantial. And we must scrutinize the context before claiming it's correct. After all, is it not suspicious that the moderate align so closely with liberal values? And holding liberal values happens to denote obedient citizenship? And obedient citizenship means be blind to colonialism. Don't complain about racism. Neoliberalize your identity so modest fashion is enough. Integrate or deserve deportation. At the same time, tolerate dehumanization. And know that anyway, we'll never accept you as having fit in. Is it not suspicious that a moderate Muslim fits so easily into Western analytical categories? Ones which came into existence a millennia after the Quran. It's almost as if moderation has less to do with theology than hegemony and more to do with worshipping the nation state and submission of the soul. I'd rather be a bad Muslim than a good Muslim because such labels don't signify piety. They just distance us from the reality, masquerading as statuses with neutrality, bounding us and binding us, leaving us defined by external demand. So now the only good Muslim is a silent Muslim. The good Muslim is an excuse to condemn the rest. And all that really means is that in their eyes, if you want to be of those who pass the test, the best of all the Muslims is a Muslim who is not. Yeah. Post-colonial banter by Suhaima Manzor Khan. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but this was post-colonial banter. I really enjoyed it. And thank you to her for allowing me and giving me permission to read her work. So thank you. Well, on to the next one and the last one, if they come for us. If I say the word enough, I can write myself out of it. Like the driver rolling down the partition. Please again and again and a new nation springs up in the limo. Alive for a night, just one night, partition. Red lipstick smudging lines into the sand, partition. Our bodies tangled, refusing the break. The fresh flag rolled over our naked partition. How easy to make a word just a word, to bite its skin with our teeth and slit. We divide and become something new. My God, partitions sunlight into many rays. They dance, partitioned on the sidewalk against the trees. My skin, my God, partitions absolt from absolt. Each crack I dare not step. For the fury it'll cause my mother resting in her sky the ground partitions into what will grow and what won't even nature is fractured partitioned i want to believe in rebirth that what comes from death is life but i have blood from someone's father's father on my hands and no memory of who died for me to be here this will be the last one, and it's titled Boy. What do I do with the boy who snuck his way inside me on my childhood playground? The day other kids shoved my body into dirt and christened me, he appeared. Boy. Wicked. Feral. Swallowing my stride. The boy who grows my beard and slaps my face when I wax my mustache. He was there too, the day on Ben's couch, wearing my skirt, ranking the girls in class. Again, his legs slamming concrete, my chest heavying when we ran from cops. 
The night they busted the river party again, when I smashed the jellyfish into the sand and grinded it down to a pink, useless pulp, together we watched it throb, open and close, begging for wet. He was there. I have a boy inside me and I don't know how to tell people. Like when that man held me down and he said no. And my boy, my lovely boy, he clawed and bit and cried just like we were back on the dirt playground. Scraped wrists and steady pounding his eyes wide until he stopped making a sound. <sighs> so this was boy. I might need to start reading some happy poetry. <laughs> Because uh, I feel emotional. But yeah. Um, yeah. That, 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 was, that was the last poem. I really hope you enjoyed the readings. This was Fatima Ashka with If They Come For Us. And yeah. I want to thank you. If you're still watching, thank you so much because I do put a lot of work in this. So thank you for staying till the end. And yeah, that's it. This was the fourth Sacred Conversations. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I want to thank the writers, um, the authors of, the, of these books. And that's it. Let me know what you think of the poems and um, if any of the, you know, messages resonated with you. And yeah, I think that's it. I have nothing else to say to you. <laughs> so I hope you are well. I hope you go well. I hope you stay well. And I will see you in the next video. Deuces.